Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Katrina and today I'm going to be telling you where to get some awesome blank hats for your business. Now if you want to know where to get the best hats for the best prices and various styles and so many different colors, you need to stay tuned to this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, follow because I bring you so much content, so many tips to help you grow your business and I'll be giving out vendors. And today I'm giving out one of my favorite vendors for hats. So if you want to know, definitely stay tuned after the intro. But today I'm going to be telling you the number one bestseller for their business, for their company, their hats that's the most popular on their website, and it might be the most popular if you use this in your brand, in your business as well. So these are the vintage baseball caps. Yes, I said it. The vintage, the vintage baseball caps or vintage dad hats, whatever you want to call it. They come in 33 different colors, so you will have no problem choosing the best color for your brand, your business, and and your customers. I'm about to transform my whole room showcasing all the hats. I'm going to show you how you embroider it as well and how you can make it your own for your own business. Let's go. This is going to be a fun one today. These are all the colors that they come in. I'm going to open them up and show you each and every color. KB Ethos has the best vintage dad hats in the business. Their vintage baseball caps are a bestseller on their website for a reason. Let me tell you why. These low profile unstructured dad hats have a unique distressed wash style made specifically by hand. They're 100% cotton, they're stylish, lightweight, durable, smooth, and they come in a variety of colors ranging from denim wash, khaki colors, bright neons, army fatigues, and more. They have an adjustable back metal closure that fits most heads, so you definitely can't go wrong when choosing the KB Ethos Vintage Baseball Caps. These hats are good when you're trying to floss, mm, be a boss, or you're trying to cover up a messy hair day. So these are all your different color options from your different purples, lilac, purple or plum. These are your jean color, denim color hats, different variations in blue. I love that. And because you can actually see the vintage and detail more so when you're on the blue, it just really looks great. So stylish and a washed, gives it like a jean denim washed look. So you have those three colors to choose from. So these are your different blues that you have ranging from your light blue all the way to your navy. This one is, of course, like a royal color. This one is like an aqua. Now, of course, all the actual names of the colors are on the website, and I'll have that link down below, but those are your blue colors. These are your girly colors, yellow, sort of like a peach color and your orange. I really like, you know, this color out of the, um, out of the three, but you can definitely rock these with anything summer springtime red and pink family your pinks peach red hot pink all the way to your burgundy look at those colors can't go wrong so like i said you have so many different varieties to choose from open that out so you guys can see it the detail these are all handmade hats, handmade vintage hats. And these are your greens. Of course, your, it's like a Irish green, lucky Irish green to your olive. I love this color, of course. Of course, the olive hunter green is a very popular color. So many people, you know, rock olive green. Of course, they come in black. Every hat has to have a solid black color. And again, it has the metal buckle in the rear. That's your black vintage. 
you have your fatigues as well. You have your standard green fatigue color. And of course, this one is more like the grayish slate color. So you have your fatigues that look great. Army. So these are your fatigue colors. Looks great in the vintage wash as well. For those who love bright colors, those who like to be bold and stand out, you have your neon colors, your bright colors, two different variations of yellow, you have your blue, orange, and you have two different variations of green as well. So these would be considered like the neon bright colors that you have in that family. And last but not least, the color options, you have your white, you have like your rust color, your different khakis, browns. I love this color section because, of course, I just love earth tone colors. I think these look great. So these are my favorite colors. Now I'm going to show you how you would embroider this hat. Put your own custom logo on here and tailor it for your business and your brand using my Recoma 1501 embroidery machine. So I'm going to auto digitize the logo that they sent me for KB Ethos. So when you auto digitize, you have to open up the file from here because it will be in a JPEG format. I'm going to just click on browse and I have it right here. Now they sent me two different sizes, um, one in 77 kilobytes and the other one in 145. That's much bigger. So I'm going to open up the smaller one because it'll be better to edit and still make that one smaller. So I'm going to just click open. I'm going to click next. Now I could just automatically auto digitize it right here, but I'm going to leave it. So now this is my logo. It's auto digitized. I'm just going to come in here and tweak it a little bit. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the entire logo and now I need to resize this. So this is where you see your width and your height. You can change it here if you want manually, but I'm just going to drag it in myself. I just wanted to show you where it was, but I'm just going to drag it in until I get my desired width. So it's lined up with the zero. Now it's at about eight inches. As you can see up here, it's still too big. I need to bring this all the way in to about four and a half inches. Really small, I know, but it's going on the surface of a hat. So you definitely need to measure the surface of your hat to make sure it's not too big. And if you're not sure exactly where it is, this is more so four and a half, so it's not really four and a half, it's a little bit over. How do I know for sure? Because if I come and look up on my right hand corner over here in this panel, it tells me the exact measurement. So I'm gonna still bring it in just a little bit more. And now it's at 4.38. So that looks really good. So I'm gonna let that um, stay just like that as far as the size. So now let's go in here and let's look at the stitch fill that we have. As you can see from this logo, only the first two letters are filled in and the rest of them is just an outline. So now I know I want the ethos part to be a satin stitch. So let's look at what it is. For my K and my B, as you can see over here, it has a standard, um, I believe that's pronounced to taint tag to me I don't know whatever the name of that uh, is but I'm gonna keep it on that if you change it you can change the stitch length and you can change the density here as well now if I come here and I pick satin let's see how it looks it does not come out correct well I can't pick the satin stitch on this one it does not look right so I'm gonna go back to the first one that it had because that one actually looks good so I'm going to change that back. I've never used the smooth fill as of yet, so I'm just going to keep it on this one. And the density looks good, so I'm going to keep it on that one as well. As far as the ethos is concerned, I do want it on satin. So it's on satin, and instead of it being on standard, I want it on raised. So let's see how it looks on raised. Can't really tell a difference on here. Everything actually looks good. This was actually a really easy logo to auto digitize, so it really looks good. I don't really have any, um, any adjustments to make from what I can see. So I actually wanna see how this is going to stitch out on the hat. So I'm just gonna come up here and I'm going to click this button. It's a slow redraw. So you can click this to simulate the sewing. So I'm gonna click that. Now you can actually move this line yourself 
if you don't want it to go out really slow. And this actually, by dragging a line, you can see how it's going to stitch out and what shape, what form the pattern. So I'm just draw, taking the line and dragging it so that way I can see how it's going to stitch out on the hat. Ooh. And there you go. Now, of course, you don't have to do that manually. I did it manually to go faster, but you can actually, okay, you can click the two arrows right here, but this right here will do the simulation for you. This is actually counting the stitches, and you can actually see it stitching out for you and how it's going to physically look on the hat. So this was just a real simple easy stitch one color so I don't have to change any colors I can choose my color on the machine, but it is going to be stitched out in white But I'm going to now just save it onto my USB and it has to be saved in a DST format in order to transfer to the Recoma embroidery machine First I take my cap station and I fix it onto a sturdy surface so that way it's secure and does not move now taking my cap ring, I slide it forward onto the cap station and make sure all the spring locks are locked in place. I'm going to take my backing and I'm going to put it underneath the metal tab. Taking my hat now, I'm going to make sure all the extra fabric is out the way, lift up the sweatband and I'm going to place it on top of the backing, making sure it stays underneath the metal tab, pulling it all the way in nice and close. Now I'm going to take my binder clips, I'm going to gather the hat in the back and clamp it down, secure it in place. Taking that flexible clamp, I'm going to secure it and latch it across to the other side and make sure it's as close to the bill as possible. Now in order to release the cap ring from the cap station, I'm going to release those spring latches. You should hear the clicks and rotate it off. This is how it should look all the way across. Now it's time to put it on the cap driver on my MT-1501. Now I'm going to be using my USB drive and I'm going to insert it into my embroidery machine to transfer the file. The design set allows me to choose which hoop I'm going to use. I'm going to select cap right down here at the bottom and I'm going to hit OK and automatically it starts moving in position. Before I do any stitch, I'm going to trace it out to make sure I know where it's going. So this is going to trace out where exactly my design is going to be. That does it really fast, but I'm going to hit this heart button on my I'm going to hit the heart button and I'm going to actually hold down the needle and this gives me a more accurate placement of where it's actually going to stitch so I can make sure it's not bumping into the hoop I can make sure it's where exactly I want it to be placed I got the hat really low and it should be a perfect placement. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna hit the start button and start stitching. is done I am going to click it out I'm going to turn it and take it out so I'm all done now I'm just going to take it off take that off 
How do you take the backing off? It's so easy. It's a tear away backing. So all I'm gonna do is just tear it out like so. So easy. I'm actually gonna leave the rest in for protection. Clean up the rest of the loose ends with the Fisker scissor, curved edge. Just gonna come in here, clean that up. This was a really easy, simple logo to do, but you can do this with any design, any logo, same steps, same process. And as you see, that's all cleaned up on the inside. Now let's turn it over for the final reveal. KB Ethos, baby. That's how you embroider a KB Ethos hat. Just to let you know, Recoma is currently running an Independence Day sale starting today all the way up until July 15th. So click the link down below and don't miss out. They have everything on sale pretty much, ranging from accessories to heat presses to vinyl cutting machines, DTG machines, and of course your embroidery machines starting as low as $135 a month all the way up to 0% financing. So don't miss out. And of course, don't forget about KB Ethos, the best blanks in town. And you can check out all the other hats that they have to offer. Happy embroidering. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.